Hey guys, so I am doing my September favorites today, so I'm just going to hop into it, and this is going to be super random, and that's okay. And the first thing is my nails, and yes, they are jet black, but I really, I've been liking like jet black. I don't know, like I really just like the way it looks, and they like match everything, so I really like it. And the one that I've been using is called What's a Tire Jack from Sephora by, OPI by Sephora, or Sephora by OPI, I don't know. Sephora by OPI and so yeah this is what's a tire jack and it's just jet black matte I like it and I sometimes like to put like a sparkly um, nail on my ring finger so I really have been liking black nail polish and then um, my lip combination I like a lot too it's like there's no sparkle like you can't really tell because of the gloss like it has like a shine in the gloss but the like the look itself it's very matte it's very um just you know like there's just this color and um it is the sex machine um nars velvet matte lip pencil and the nars um pillow talk gloss over it and these make a really good combination i think i got them i got them in some set from sephora sephora is really good for buying nars because like I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend like 80, not 80, like $30 on, I, they're like regular blushes are like this size, and this is actually like a duo, but they're like this size, and I mean, that's a really good size thing, but I mean, I will never use that much blush, and so I just have like ones that are like this size, and I really like them, and they're like smaller, more compact, but anyways, that is beside the point, and so I really like this lip combination. And then, um, also another gloss I've really been liking is this On The Scene Cream Sheen Glass by MAC. And it looks like it's orange. Like, it looks pretty orange. I mean, it is orange. Like, um, it's pretty orange. But, I mean, it goes on, like, with, like, uh, the sheerest pink tone. Um, and it, it really is, like, really nice if you want, like, a nude excuse me, a nude gloss with just a little bit of color, and I really like this one, and this was limited edition, but I mean, this is not that unique of a color, so, um, one other lip product is the MAC Docile, this was in my Fabulous Felines video, and I really like this one. And this is a really good gloss. And I am trying to find... Oh, perfect. Um, this is my MAC Big Baby Plush Glass. This is my favorite lip gloss in the entire universe. Like, I can have, like, all these, like, fun colors, but this color is just incredible. It's, like, a dirty um, coral color. Like, it's more pink than coral, but, I mean, it's just, like, a dirty pink. And it matches everything, like... I just like putting this on with my natural lip color. It looks so incredible and I love it so much. And I think that's all for lip products other than nothing. Now we'll go into face stuff. So the first thing is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Professional Magic Perfecting Base. And in my foundations and primer video, which I'm going to link down below because I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff in it. From there, um, I... Like, I kind of said that I didn't like it that much, and I don't, I mean, it's not the best primer, but it's certainly not the worst. Like, the thing with this is that it's really hard to, like, spread on your face. Like, you've got to really work it. It doesn't, like, just go on smooth, like, um, Smashbox or something. It's really, like, more hard to work up with, but once you have it, like, on your face, like, my face feels incredible with it. And I really like it, and I thought I was going to use this up really fast, but, I mean... I haven't used that much, and I mean, I use it every single day, so I really, I really do like this, and I like that this is like $12 as opposed to, you know, like $20, and then my foundation is the um, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup, and I also think that in my other video, I was kind of like, I don't really like this that much, but I was so wrong in that video, like I haven't had it for that long. And I love it now. Like, I've had it for a couple months now, and I'm in love with it. I don't know how I've lived this long without it. It's really good coverage. 
I wouldn't say that it's like a full coverage. I mean, it is like it's not the it's not sheer. But I mean, if you want more coverage on like your forehead or you know just anywhere, like you can put more on, and it's really good. Um. The colors I've found, I've been able to find, like, ones that match my skin tone impeccably. So, that's really, really nice. And I just really like this. And I had to actually get a shade lighter. This is natural beige. And I used to have the fresh beige. And, like, there's a huge color difference. Like, you can't tell on camera at all or really in person. But on skin, once I was getting, like, less tan, this was looking pretty orange. So, I had to get a lighter one. But that's okay because that'll be useful next time I'm tan. So I really love this foundation so much. And then kind of sticking with more of um, the creams, I have the my um, Coastal Scents Camel Quad. This is the medium one. Um, and this color right here, wow, this thing is really gross and I'm sorry. But anyways, so I love this color. Like you can see there's like a dent in it. And I love this. And I like using the other colors. Like I use this one to darken it up. Like if I like got like a little bit white looking in my concealer. Then I use this kind of darken it up. Get me back to a skin tone color. You know how, you know, whatever. I just really like this. I really, I, it has a really thick creamy consistency. And it stays on all day. And it's really, really, really nice. And I'm, I'm loving it. Then I love the, um... My CoverGirl Aqua Smoothers Press Powder. This is my second one of these. It's just really nice. Translucent, little bit of coverage, but it's basically just really nice. Then I have my MAC Buddy Up Blush Mineralized Duo. Love it. It's just really nice blush color. Next, I have my Pink Leopard Bronzer, and I have it in a littler, like a little single thing. But I cannot find it right now, so... This is my Pink Leopard Bronzer. Um, it's so pretty. I love using it as my highlight. Like, that's what I've been using, doing lately. Uh, Smoky Pink Leopard. She's incredible for telling me that because I was so freaking upset. Like, I won't even tell you because I wanted to try it so badly. And then to find out that it didn't even, like, I couldn't use it as a blush or a bronzer because, you know, like, the pink and the bronze. And it was, like, so frustrating. But I love using it as my highlight. And it's really um, gorgeous. And I like just applying it with like a um, angled brush, like this. And I'll just do like a couple eye things, like I don't really have that many. But my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, love it. Really good, um, really good. Like I'm wearing a drugstore eyeshadow, which you traditionally don't stay on without a primer and it like this works incredibly like even with stay don't stray i have the little mini one somewhere but even with stay don't stray like my drugstore ones just like come off and i don't know if that's a drugstore thing or the stay don't stray thing because stay don't stray works well with like my coastal scents so i don't know but urban decay love this i can't wait to use this up so that i can get the full size of the um regular then i have some eyeshadow and this is my Sunlit Bronze Quad from Maybelline. And um, this is in my Project 10 Pan video, just so you guys know. And um, I love this color right here. Like, I've worn it for the past, like, three days. And I just love it. Like, I'm just wearing it right now, like, all over my lid, and that's all because I was feeling really lazy today. And I love it. I mean, it's really light and pretty, and it, like, brightens your eyes a little bit. And, like, sometimes I'll use this coppery color or this red color. I don't know really what color it is. And I love it in my crease with this. And I love, I really love this quad. And I'm hoping that I'll use it up soon. Because I have some, like, I have my big hole right there. So, I don't know. And next I have my Lexiva Luminous Shadow Sunbeam. Merle Norman. This is, ooh, that's the color of it. It's really similar to Sin Eyeshadow from Urban Decay, except a little bit pinker. Um, ooh, Real Norman's really good quality. I really like their makeup. Um, I've only ever used their eyeshadows and um, their eyeliner, and I love their eyeliner. I wish I knew where it was. So now I have my mascara combination, and it is Telescopic Explosion. 
just a, one coat of that, and I'm not wearing it right now, but um, one coat of that, and then after curly, and then um, Clean Definition Telescopic, also from L'Oreal. These are both from L'Oreal Telescopic, and I mean, the explosion, I really like the way it, like, it helps add, like, hold the curl from the lashes, the curler, and then this just goes over it and makes my lashes, like, separate and beautiful. I love this mascara so much. I love both of these. And this is the um, Explosion Ball one. And I love it so much. This new system, and I can't, like, I mean, it's a favorite, but I can't really do a review on it. I think I'm going to do one later if I like it. But, okay, so it is the Expert Anti-Blemish Cleansing um, anti-blemish like system and I have the um, cleansing foam the toner the two-in-one scrub scrub and mask and then the anti-blemish night moisturizer and the anti-blemish serum which actually looks like this so um I, I'm pretty like I've used it a couple times and I'm liking it I haven't seen too many improvements yet but I mean I haven't gotten worse so I think that's a sign that it's doing something so I'm pretty excited for that and that whole system was $29.77 at Walmart so $30 which is so much less than Proactive, Skin ID, um, Clinique, which I've all, I've used all those except for, um, Proactive before, and I am liking this so far. So, that is my, um, my October favorites. I'm not sure if I said September favorites in the beginning, so if I did, sorry, but, um, that is my October favorites, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video.